I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on solving word problems. Here are three more questions for you based on linear equations. Now these questions could be slightly difficult, especially if you are solving without calculator. You can always pause the video, answer and then look into my suggestions. Question number one. The two sides of an isosceles triangle are 3 cm shorter than the longest side. If the perimeter of the triangle is 83 cm, find the three side lengths of the triangle. Question number 2. A bag contains rupees 7, 65 pesa in the form of 50 pesa, 25 pesa and 20 pesa coins in the ratio of 2 is to 3 is to 4. Find the number of coins of each type. Question number 3. The Sun Spa charges annual dues of $125 plus $12 per hour to use the facilities. The Moon Spa charges annual dues of $230 plus $9 per hour to use the facilities. For what number of hours would the two spas charge the same total amount. Now let's look into these solutions one by one. The very first question is based on sides of triangles. So let us sketch a triangle first. Okay, let us assume that this is our isosceles triangle where these two sides are equal. Okay. Now we'll define the variables. The question is, the two equal sides of an isosceles triangle are 3 centimeters shorter than the longest side. So we'll say let longest side be L centimeters, right? So this becomes L centimeters. Now these two sides are 3 centimeters shorter, so they will be L minus 3 and L minus 3 each. Perfect. Now we are given if the perimeter of the triangle is 83. Now perimeter is sum of sides. This perimeter is 83. So 83 is equal to L plus this side which is L minus 3 plus L minus 3. So if you solve this, what do you get? You get 83 equals to 3L minus 6. Bringing 6 to this side, we get 83 plus 6 equals to 3 times L. Now, let's see how to solve it. That is 89. So 3L is 89. Length is 89 over 3. You could write like this. Now 89 is 1 less than 90, right? It is like, you could think like this also. 90 minus 1 is 89 divided by 3, which will give you 30 minus 1 over 3 or 29 1 over 3, right? So this part of the calculations which I am showing you uh, is not necessary. But it's kind of a hint to show you that if calculator is not there, we could write 89 as 90 and think like this. So this is like think like this. Idea is to learn tricks to solve questions also while we work. Right, so it is slightly less than 30. So this is one side, correct? So our answer will be one side is 29, 1 over 3. The others are 3 less, right? So, so if I would have written in this fashion, correct? I could have, now if I do 3 less than 29, so the other sides are, Twenty-nine one over three minus three. 
So 29 minus 3 is 26. So we get 26 1 over 3. You get an idea. So we get our answer. Which is 26 1 over 3 centimeters. 26 1 over 3 centimeters. And 29 1 over 3 centimeters. You get it. So what I want to also show you here is that a difficult calculation using fractions can sometimes be made simpler to work with. You see how easily we could take away 3 from this mixed number and get our answer? That's a key to understand how to solve the equations faster and more efficiently. Now here is question number 2. Question number 2. A bag contains rupees 765 pesa in the form of 50 pesa, 25 pesa and 20 pesa coins in the ratio of 2 is to 3 is to 4. Find the number of coins of each type. Now this question is very interesting. Let us think that we have these as our coins. Let's say this is a 50 pesa and that's 25 pesa. And this is, let's say, 20 pesa coins, right? So that is the value of each coin. Let me write here 50 pesa, 25, and 20. We are given that the ratio of these is 2 is to 3 is to 4. So that is to say, if we have 4 plus 3, 7 plus 2, 9 coins, in that case, 2 of them will be 50 pesa, 3 of them will be 25 pesa, and 4 will be 20 pesa. We need to find the total number of coins, right, of each type, which we don't know. So let us say we have x of each type. I mean, the total could be multiple of 9 only, right? So, so let's say we have 9 times x. So, if we have 9 times x, then this will become 2 times x, this will be 3 times x, and this will be 4 times x, correct? To maintain the same ratio, which is 2 is to 3 is to 4. So, I hope you got this concept. So, so when we say coins and ratios, then that could be their numbers. So, that is number of coins. So we have written number of possible coins for ratio 2 is to 3 is to 4. So I hope you got this concept. Now second part is the value. Now let's look into the value part. Now value is 765. So we could write this as 765 should be equal to each of this is 50 pesos. So we'll do 2x times 50 pesa, which is like cents, right? 0 0.50 plus 3x times 25 pesa. Treat them as cents. 4x times 20 pesa. That's the whole idea. Now you have a linear equation with only one variable x you could calculate this, right? So 7.65 equals 2. Twice 0.5 is 1, so we get just 1x. Plus here, 3 times quarters, 0 0.75. And 20 cents you can treat this as, times 4, 80 cents, 80x. Adding them all, you get what? 5. 8 and 7, 15, 1 dollar, and one more, 255 x. So, so x is 6, 7.765 divided by 2.55. That is the value of x. Now, you could see that this is almost 3 times. You could approximate, right? So, 3 times 5 is 15, right? So, So what we get here is, this is equals to 3, correct? 
since it is three types you can use calculator also but at times you may not be allowed a calculator for such questions okay in that case estimate perfect so we get an estimate value three if x is three then how many of each type that's your question right don't stop here so x is three that means let's write down the answer here we'll have how many of 50 pesa we'll have three times two which is six of 50 pesa three times three right so x is three three times three we have three times three which is nine of 25 pesa and three times four which is 12 of 20 pesa coins is that clear to you so that is how it should be solved correct let's move on and take up the next question which is question number three the sun spa charges annual dues of 125 dollars plus 12 dollars per hour to use facility the moon spa charges annual dues of 230 plus 9 per hour to use the facilities for what hour, number of hours would the two spas charge the same amount right so we can say sun spa let's say some spa let's say charges for sun spa is how much 125 is fixed so we'll write 125 which is the fixed plus 25 per hours 12 per hour so 12 times h number of hours for the moon spa it is 230 plus 9 per hour 9 per hour now when will they be same that piece the charges are same perfect that is our equation which we need to solve so we'll equate the two and solve for hours that's the whole idea we get 125 plus 12 hours equals to 230 plus 9 hours bring them to same side for hours on the left we get 12 hours minus 9 hours equals to 230 minus 125 12 minus 9 is 3 and then take away 5 we have borrowed right and then 205 so hours will be 105 divided by 3 3 times 3 is 9 and then 5 so for 35 hours charges will be same you get an idea right so so the other question could have been let me add that uh, let me extend which is better for 50 hours right so for 35 it is same for 50 hours this will be better because you are saving three dollars per hour each time you get an idea so if you sketch and solve this particular question then the graph of moon let us say is kind of like this then the graph for the sun which starts lower will be kind of like this so this point here is for 35 hours you get an idea right so this graph is for time here on this side and cost here on the other side so I hope it makes sense now these are common questions which you should know how to solve and in other videos taken up more questions in our series for solving word problems I would like you to go through these questions also right so this is another set where we said that the idea is to first define variables relate them solve and then check the solution I hope you have enjoyed this journey of learning how to solve word problems I'll appreciate if you practice solving more and more problems 
Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And if you really like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.